Good day students and welcome back and in today's tutorial we're going to do power break 6.2.5 which is about how to save so if you save a document you click on file and you want to save the document you will see there's two save options the one is save and the one is save as and it's important to know what is the difference between them if you click on save as or save as is usually used if you are saving a document for the first time so when you click on save as it's going to ask you where do you want to save this and in other words in what location and what is the name of the document that you're going to save it as save on the other hand that is when you have already gave the doc you're working on a document and you've already on a previous occasion saved the document you already gave it a name and you chose a location and you can just click save and it will just save the document wherever it is but save as is when you want to save the document for the first time you gave it a name and you do choose a location all right so save as in this case and then you have options where do you want to save it as either on onedrive this pc you can even add a place or you can browse you can decide where do you want to save this if i click on browse i can decide do i want to save it in this pc libraries my flash drive on a network for example um, do i want to save it on the desktop basically when you choose browse you have the choice of where do you want to save it you can save it basically anywhere um, that you want to save it as my advice is if you are at college always save your documents in your student network drive or save it on a flash drive and if you are a little bit more advanced activate your onedrive or even google drive and save your documents there that way it doesn't matter where you find yourself you will always have your documents with you you can just access it if you have an internet access um, or if you have internet access so I'm going to save mine on my in my on this PC's um, documents folder. So I'm going to click on this PC, and then I'm going to go to the documents folder, and I'm going to save Power Break 6.2.5 um, Power Break 6.2.5. I'm just giving it a a name, and then I'm going to click on save. All right, it's saved, and to go and check whether or not it really did save where I wanted it to save I can close this document now and I'm going to go to my file explorer I'm going to go to this PC and I'm going to go to the um, I'm going to go to the documents folder and there is my document I can open it up and you will see there it is all right, so I'm going to now click on file and I'm going to click on, okay, before I do that, let me just make a change here. So if I add information to this document and I want to um, remember, I already decided, I really previously decided where I wanted to save it and I already previously gave it a name as is displayed over here. So now all I have to do is I don't have to go to file save as anymore I can just click on save or I can just click on this icon over here on my quick access toolbar I can just click on this option over here that means save all right that's the same as as file save that's the same the same um, function or I can use the shortcut control and s on my keyboard Press the control key and then you press the S key, control and S at the same time, that's also save. All right, so at least three ways of how you can save a document. And then the second part of this video is I can decide in what format I want to save it as. So if I click on file, save as, and I choose the location, Yeah, at the bottom, when I gave when I give my, my my file a name, I can actually choose what type of document do I want to save it as. Currently, it's a Word document. I wanted to save it as a Word document. But if I click on my options, I actually have very 
I have quite a few options that I can choose to save in what format I want wanted to save the document as. So you can choose a Word document or you can choose a PDF to save it as a PDF document. That's very popular. Um, more advanced people would start to use the XPS document formats or a rich text format RTF or you can save it as a web page as well. But for your purpose for info, we're only going to focus on either saving it as a Word document or at least a PDF. So thank you students for watching. Join me in the next video where we will be doing Power Break 6.2.6. Thank you.